outline, giving myself, um, you know, um, an idea where the focal point will be, which would be here and here, and then also dividing my my canvas into nine equal grids so that I can more or less follow the rules of thirds and, and just focus on uh, maybe this tree, which is that tree. They're all equal. So I don't know if you can see it there. I'll just zoom in. They're all kind of all the same. So I want to I wanna change it up because it's so equal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's uh, the project today. I'm going to be painting out here for about an hour and I'll chat with you again later. So what I'm starting to do now is I'm adding color. And I've started with a titanium white mixed in with a little bit of um, burnt sienna. And then I'm just adding a little bit of uh, cerulean blue into the mix and just giving it that sort of dirty white look. Uh, the trees are, I would believe, poplar trees and uh, they're just growing in our backyard it it's just lovely so just giving it uh, that base of uh, a dirty white with a little bit of blue in there So I'm playing here with just cerulean blue and adding some titanium white on areas of the tree that is getting the light. So kind of like to capture that first because the light's going to change and I don't want to miss that. So I'm putting in where the light is hitting the trees first.
after I secure all the the light spots that are being hit uh, on the tree, now I can play with all the shadow. So for shadow, I'm using a blend of burnt sienna and ultramarine blue to make my black and um, adding a little bit of white to that mix so I can have some gray tones and just uh, just playing with those colors. Uh, some of the colors I even have a little bit of purple in there and the purple is a mixture of ultramarine blue and um, quinacrinone magenta mixed with a little bit of white or gray and uh, it just works. So I just at this point I'm just playing. I'm just playing, uh, adding shadow um, into the mix.
prepared um, burnt sienna with a little bit of black and I mixed it in with some mineral spirits. I just wanted to prepare all the uh, shadow area in the forest so I wanted to have some contrast so I'm putting some of the darker shadows first and then I will slowly lighten it with the greens and the yellow greens and the whitish bluish greens after I set up my base. So right now this is black, a mixed black with burnt sienna and a little bit of mineral spirits. green a warm green 
So I added cadmium yellow to the black that I made and it gives you a beautiful warm green. So I just wanted to add a little bit of greenery now. So this is the same green, just more yellow added so that it's a lighter value. Um, and again, it's from the same mixture. So I'm just adding more yellow so that it increases in value um, to the green because it's getting hit by the light here. So I wanted it to be a little bit brighter.
So I'm playing with a variety of greens here. Just wanted to um, add some cooler greens towards the bottom part of the forest. Uh, just added a little bit more blue to my green mixture just so I could cool it down. I mean, closer to the forest floor, it gets a little bit of less light. So I wanted it to be a little bit of the cooler tones. So I just added more blue to the greens. wanted to add a little bit more of texture in the grasses um, in the uh, foreground so I went and made different uh, colors of oranges with uh, cadmium red and cadmium yellow um, also used a little bit of yellow ochre in in the mix and I'm using my knife just to create some texture uh, in the foreground.
think this was about the point that I said, okay, I think I'm done. It's been about an hour and I'm just uh, finalizing details. So I'm bringing back this into the studio and probably will work for it for maybe another 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm calling it done. I entitled it Sacred Space because it is one of the best spaces I have to do plein air. I hope you liked my painting. Thank you so much for joining me. Sweet out. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Bye.